Hello everyone, this is Chrissy from TrainingGrounds.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to set Gmail to access your business email address. Your business email address should be set to anything at YourDomain.com. For example, one of the Training Grounds email addresses is videos at TrainingGrounds.com and I would like to be able to easily access this from my Gmail account. To begin, I have logged into my Gmail account on one tab in my browser and my HostGator control panel on another tab. This makes it so I can easily toggle back and forth whenever I need to gather information from my HostGator. Now in Gmail, I'm going to come up here and click on Settings, and then I'm going to click on Accounts and Import. And I'll scroll down to Check Mail using POP3 and choose Add POP3 Email Account. This will bring up a dialog box for you to enter your email address. I'm going to enter videos at TrainingGrounds.com, and then click Next Step. For this step, you'll need to know the username for your email account, and you can find this in the HostGator control panel. In the control panel, you'll click on Email Accounts. There's a lot of links up here for configuring different Outlook configurations. That may be helpful if you are using Outlook or Outlook Express. For all purposes, we just want to come down here and look at Mail Server Username. It's video. For my particular email, it's videos plus traininggrounds.com. So I want to copy and paste this into my Gmail. And the password is going to be the same password that you set up for your email account when you set it up in HostGator. So I'll enter that in. Most times it will automatically come up with the POP server name and port, and these are usually correct, but you do want to double check on your control panel. You'll see incoming mail server is mail.traininggrounds.com, and the default port for any incoming mail is going to be 110. So the settings that are automatically chosen by Gmail are correct. I'm going to want to set my settings. I don't generally care to leave a copy of the retrieve message on my server. I'm fine with this label for incoming messages. And I don't want to automatically archive my incoming messages. I do want them to come into my inbox. And when I have all of this set, I'm going to click on Add Account. Once you've done this, you'll receive the message that says your email account has been added, and you can now retrieve mail from this account. And it asks if you would like to also be able to send mail from this email account. Most times you'll want to click yes. I want to be able to send mail as your email address. So I'll select that and click next. And then Gmail will ask you for the name that you would like to show up as the from name when you're using your email address. So I'll set that to Chrissy Hoff. The email address again is videos at traininggrounds.com and I'm going to click Next Step. And now we'll ask you if you do want to send this mail through your own SMTP server, and that is a lot more complicated, so I'm just going to go ahead and send through the Gmail server. And now it's time for verification. So Gmail is going to want to verify that you do own this email address before you can send and receive mail through them as this email address. So they have sent a verification email to videos at traininggrounds.com. I'm going to go over to my HostGator control panel and check the mail for videos at traininggrounds.com. See that they have sent the email and click the link to complete the verification. If for any reason you're not able to click the verification link in your email or it doesn't work, you are also given a verification code in that email and you can use that to verify that you received the correct email. Now that you have this link completed, your Gmail inbox will begin showing messages from your business email address and when you click on Compose, you will see a drop-down menu asking you what email address you want to be sending this message from. Just be mindful when you're trying to send business messages from your business email versus when you're trying to send personal messages from a personal email if you have the two linked within the same Gmail account.